Welcome to the Ultimate Affiliate Marketing Podcast, where we help affiliate marketers like you get the knowledge and skills to build a successful affiliate marketing business online. Listen along as we bring together some of the greatest minds in affiliate marketing, helping you get better results today. My name is Paul Motley, and welcome to Ultimate Affiliate Marketing. All right, here we are. So, today's guest, super excited about him being on. I've spoke to this guy for probably about 18 months now. There was a couple of little messages going on, and then all of a sudden, of January 2019, he kind of exploded out of nowhere and made an absolute insane amount of money just by selling one product on an affiliate basis. So there's an awful lot more to this guy. It's going to be super exciting to actually hear what he's got to say. And I'm going to welcome you now to Kevin Stephen. Okay, everybody. So welcome, Kevin. Super happy to for you to be here. And um, yeah, looking forward to this. Thank you for the invite, my friend. I'm super stoked to be here. You're one of my favorites. <laughs> That's so cool of you to say, man. That's so cool of you to say. Okay, so there's a lot of people, a lot of things that people know about Kevin, Stephen, if you like, but there's also a lot of people, you know, things that people don't know about you. So if you just want to sort of like give me a kind of like a, I don't know, like a, a background so that people can understand where you're coming from and what you've been doing in the past, yeah. and what you're doing right now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I spent, uh, I, I really got into the uh, tech sector, the tech space. Let's see, so I got out of it uh, four years ago. So 27 years ago, that's how old I am. I got started in the tech space. And, you, you know, I was, you know, yeah, it's crazy. I was, I was managing sales for some big manufacturing companies in the hardware and software space. So I was running sales teams up to uh, the last big position I had. I had 75 people on my team. So I was managing 75 salespeople, inside support people. Uh, that year, my last year with that company, my quota that year was 360 million. Wow. And, and yeah, and these are, these are items that start at like 97 bucks. And I think our highest ticket item was about five grand. So, you know, if you do the math backwards, even dividing 360 million by five grand, which would be our highest ticket deal, that's a lot of sales. Yeah, that's a, yeah. That's a yeah, So we were always hustling. Um, so I spent, you know, like I said, 25 years in the tech space uh, managing sales teams. Um, I got tired of all the travel and stepped outside of that space. And uh, I really, I just, I sat and, you know, here's, where's the crazy thing. I didn't want to travel anymore. And I, a buddy talked me into being a commercial insurance guy. So I was selling insurance to businesses. Oh, you absolutely. Did, sucked. You were the insurance guy. I was the insurance guy and it absolutely sucked. I was really good at it. I was closing some really big deals, but it just, it didn't motivate me. It, there was no, there was no desire to get out of bed and go sell insurance. And sure. uh, one day I'm listening to a guy complain about the kind of money he pays for, uh, uh, for insurance on his employees. And I'm just like, what? So he's explaining it to me. And um, I won't get too technical, but there, you know, for just his employees, uh, where work, workers' compensation insurance was concerned, um, they've traveled uh, they were at the office, they traveled there with the job site. All three of those code differently for insurance. But the insurance carriers were quoting the insurance based off of the highest risk code associated with the employee, not the other stuff that was much, much lower, like a fraction. Uh, this guy was a roofer. So for every $100 in payroll, he was spending $38 in insurance wow. for, for his employees. But driving and at the office was under a dollar an hour. So we created an app. So that was my first, my first step into the software space just a little over three years ago, created an app that would accurately keep time for their employees, whether they were at the office, driving, or on the job site. And we found that we're saving companies at least 20% on their annual insurance, which for this guy, his annual insurance was just under 13,000. And it was crazy. We got him down to 6,800. So we were saving this guy almost 50% on his insurance at $5 an employee. So our monthly cost to him was about 65 bucks, if I remember right, $65, and we were saving him $6,800 a year. That's Super great. crazy. So I, I'm like, okay, I'm done selling insurance. I got into software and started uh, developing apps. So we, me and some partners, we've developed three of our own apps. We've created apps for others. Yeah. Uh, my main partner, Rahul, is the UX UI. So he's the design engineer 
behind some really big names. He built eBay. He built PayPal. Yeah. He built Nike, Pepsi, Tesla, some really big brands. He built their apps. Yeah. So he's my business partner. Just a couple. Yeah, so we started building apps. And uh, crazy as it seems, a year and a half ago, I stumbled over an agency that introduced us to ClickFunnels. Okay. And so a year and a half ago, I got to know this space. I had no clue. I was a software developer. I had no clue about all the different things you can do in this digital marketing space. And in a year and a half, I've delved into all sorts of crazy things from e-commerce, books, how crazy is that? Yeah. E-commerce, books, digital marketing stuff, coaching. I took 25 years of experience of managing sales teams, hitting monstrous quotas, you know, bringing that VP of sales mentality into this space. And you know, so I'm coaching people and then affiliate marketing. I got started in affiliate marketing and who knew 18 months later doing all sorts of crazy things in this space. So tech, yeah, the tech sector, hardware and software stuff was where I, I cut my teeth. You were like, you know, tell me something that most people don't know about you. Um, they probably don't know that, or they might know that I was a Marine. So I was with the, yeah, I was, I was with the U S Marines. That's the case, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's probably something nobody knows about me. Here's what they really don't know about me is I served with the president. So I was a security guard with the president when I was in the Marine Corps. Wow. Which Who one? knew? Yeah. So there you go. That's, that's my entire life story right there. Oh, that's, that was short and sweet. Love it. So going yeah. back to that, because obviously this is obviously a podcast and content based around affiliate marketing. We'll get to that in a minute because yeah. there was something really crazy at the start of this year. And we, we kind of like bounced a couple of messages backwards and forwards. I looked on it, it started all about 18 months ago. And it was kind of like a, hi, how are you doing? You're okay. Yeah. How's yeah. It going you? That sort of thing. Right. And right. probably, a million people that we both have that sort of thing with but then every so often there's someone that you find that you just connect a little bit more to you start chatting a little bit more to and yeah you have like a little bit of a throwback backwards and forwards a bit of a you know banter if you like and right. uh, and it's super cool when you get to speak to people like this which is well it's great having you on um because we we did absolutely uh, totally agree we did this thing early on in the year and um, we had an absolute blast. And I know we spoke about, well, maybe I'll just use that recording. But I thought, yeah, well, it's a good idea to actually update that now and see kind of like where you, where you got A from. lot's happened since then, since exactly. our first one. So just explain what actually happened um, at the start of this year and how it kind of like happened. Because obviously for affiliate marketing, you can kind of pick any product if you like. But you right. chose a product within a product almost. Um, right. in the one funnel away challenge from click funnels so right. what made you pick that particular product yeah. in the first place you know it's pretty crazy i i logged into the click funnels facebook group one night and there was like if i remember correctly uh, about five days left in the very first one funnel away challenge so that was in january and so tail end of january i think this thing started like february 1st or whatever it was and um, I logged in and somebody put a post up in a click from group. Hey, I'm thinking about doing the one for the way challenge. What kind of bonuses is everybody offering? And so I'm looking at all these little bonuses that people are throwing out. So I will tell you, I'm the guy who created this stupid, stupid offer stack that everybody's been doing ever since because somebody's like, Hey, I'll give you my, my 10 step guide on how to do affiliate marketing, or I'll give you these little things, these little digital guides that they created. And I'm like, what is this crap? And so I literally sat there for probably an hour and I created this monster offer stack, which was absolutely insane. All these, you know, 10 done for you funnels. I'm going to give you access to my free coaching group. You're going to get eight, eight software products. You're going to get all these different products in this group convert software. And I put all this stuff down in this offer stack and I went right back into the group and I threw that on that post. So this post, it was kind of, you know, a bunch of people were responding on. Here came mine, bam, and everybody, and I remember the, the first guy who, uh, who responded was like, what the hell is that, is what he says, like, who does that? And I'm like, I don't know, I just, I didn't know. And so anyway, I went to bed, no lie, I went to bed, got up the next morning, and I think 13 people signed up for the One Fall Away Challenge in like a six hour time period. Yeah, and I mean, it's not yeah, like it's pretty cool. This is not like a, a small little, amount either it was like no that's per sale wasn't it a hundred dollars per sale so thirteen hundred dollars in commissions in like six hours nice. and by the time the um the four and a half five five days were done and they shut it off to go into the that, that challenge um i had put a hundred and god i think it's 121 people into yeah. the ofa yeah I think and uh i hit the 200 or so mark 
myself, you know, I, I actually, I turned off my funnel after, I think it was 60 days. I turned my funnel off of my affiliate link and I put other people's affiliate links into my funnel. And so I was making commissions for two different uh, single moms. There was one in California and one in Seattle and I was helping them out. So, oh, and there was a kid. Oh my goodness. What was his name? Uh, Emmanuel from Nigeria. We were talking one day and I'm like, buddy, I'm going to hook you up. And I did. So I put his affiliate ID, uh, uh, his affiliate ID in my funnel for 24 hours. Said, whatever happens in the next 24 hours, it's yours. Gross. And I think he had 16 people that bought the OFA through me, but he got credit, he got credit for it because we were talking. And the poor guy, I was teaching him how to launch an affiliate offer and he's doing it all from his cell phone. So I'm watching this kid talk to me from his cell phone in the smallest house I've ever seen. And I asked him how many people live in his home. There were 13 people living in his house. That's it's crazy. the smallest little thing I've seen. They all live in two rooms. And so this kid, he'd be like, okay, I'll jump back on in a second. He logs off of the Zoom. He gets off and makes the changes he needed to make. And then he logs back in on his phone and gets back in on the Zoom with me. And we spent a couple of hours and I coached him on how to set up, do all these different things. And I was just like, why don't you have a, a, a computer? And he's like, I can't afford a computer. I'm like, time out. You can't afford a computer. He said, I can't afford a computer. So we're going to figure out a way. So we did. So we got him 1600 bucks. Uh, he did buy himself a computer with it. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. So the beauty of it is, is like for two, two months, it was mine. Put a couple hundred people in there. Uh, I, you know, anybody else that went to it, um, it was uh, somebody else's affiliate ID. And I tried to help as many people as I could. I still think with those that I shared my funnel with and allowed them to use my bonuses, we still put two or 300 more people in with that system. So all told, somewhere between five to 600 people joined the OFA with that offer I put together. And uh, I just haven't, I haven't touched it since, but that's, that was my first step into um, affiliate marketing. And from there, I mean, it going a little bit deeper into that, um, you say all these sales came through, but and obviously you had your bonus stack. But um, I mean, I'm guessing you weren't running ads to this. Uh, no, it was all organic, word okay. of mouth. People would share it. So the 100, and I think it was 121 in five days. Uh, all I did was put that one post up in a group. Everybody shared my. They're like, "Oh my gosh, you need Kevin Stevens' offer," and I'm sure. And so, you know, what's funny is, is uh, Steve Larson and I were talking in March. So I did that in January. It ran in February and then I was done. My, my offer went to somebody else. So I was at one of Steve's events and we're talking. He's like, dude, you killed us all for a while. He goes, and you changed the entire game for the one funnel way to challenge. I was like, well, you know, I was just, I was just looking at what people were offering as a bonus. And I was like, man, this is garbage. And I said, not that I offered the best thing ever. I just stepped it up. I mean, you know, eight softwares, 10 done for you funnels. Uh, you get access to my, uh, my side hustle Academy with coaches like Blake Newbar and myself and Zeki. And so we're all coaching in this group and everybody got free access to the group. And um, I think I created a monster, but I also forced people to do better by others you know, Hey, you know, whatever it might be. So, you know, and, and I had just got into the affiliate space a couple months before that. Um, there was a company uh, called ClickBank that was trying to hire me as their VP of sales. And yep. the last thing I wanted to do was go manage a team again. I'm like, Oh no, I do not want to do this. And it's a good friend of mine who tried to hire me. She's, she's VP of operations over there. And they were trying to hire me as their VP of sales. And, um, before I told her, no, I went to their competitor, JV Zoo, and I made them an offer they couldn't refuse. I said, I'm getting ready to accept the, uh, the position of VP of sales at your competitor. Um, and she's like, well, we've never hired anybody for a sales position here. And so they, we created one. We created a business development manager position for them. It was a 1099 instead of a W-2. I didn't have to report. I didn't have to manage anybody. They said, yes. I told ClickBank no. And, you know, for five, six months, I was the uh, business development manager over at JV Zoo for a little while. Learned a lot in that space as well made a lot of connections. Um, I may have a really, really big list that one day I uh, might use for offers. I've got about 1.7 million people on my list. Oh, that's a few. Yeah, that's, that's a few. So at some point, I'm probably going to run an offer or two at it. Uh, there's a uh, gentleman named Dean Graciosi. His team is trying to talk me into running their KBB method at that list. So I might. We'll see. I've got an offer out to him to be the keynote speaker at my oh, event yeah. in Vegas. I have, I have uh, an affiliate link for that 
which would just be perfect for that. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even have to sign up for one then. That's great. <laughs> It'll just make life so much easier for you. It will. I know, yeah. Who heck? Yeah, I might as well. We'll figure that one out. But yeah, so I got started in the affiliate space with ClickFunnels. And like you said, a product inside a product. Mm. So if, just going, circling back that again. So obviously what you did was you, you took a product that was basically an, an, affiliate, uh, an affiliate program, which yeah. is the one funnel away offer, which was $100 commission. And then you looked at it and you just basically said, if anyone wants to buy from me, this is what you're going to get as well. And yes. that, that kind of like created what we call a bonus stack. Yeah. Now, if you were giving anyone some advice on them trying to build their own bonus stack, what sort of advice would you give them to make it not superior, but more efficient to be more attractive? Yeah, I think, um, and I talk to people about this all the time. I still get people who ask me about how to do affiliate marketing. And I'm like, you've got to create something that speaks to your experience. If you're really new at this, well, you need to become an expert in something. You need to figure out something in this niche and then use that, use that to pull out your audience. So in this big affiliate space where everybody's trying to, you know, where they're trying to sell and create traffic and, and get people to their offers, figure out a way to become different than everybody else. And in doing so, create an offer that marries to that. So, you know, a lot of folks decided they were going to become funnel builders. And in doing so, they offered a bunch of done for you funnels. They coach people on how to create funnels, all sorts of different things. Yeah. But there's other pieces and, you know, I mean, so everybody's doing that now. Everybody thinks they're a funnel builder and everybody's offering free funnels as bonuses. You've got to figure out a way to create a different offer, a different niche product that's different than everybody else and speak to that and offer a bonus stack on top of that that speaks yeah. to what you became experienced in. I mean, the way that I look at it is that the, the bonuses have to be complementary to the offer. So just absolutely, give, just giving one example there, let's say you're selling uh, kayaks and there's right. like a, a page or whatever and you can sell kayaks and get commission for it. Then obviously the bonuses would be based around the survival niche and you can say, okay, mm -hmm. you know, top 10 things to look out for on you when buying a new kayak or, or all these how to kayak all the different things that come with it i mean the things you're going to need all yeah, those you're right like that. yeah and then you're building it around that there's before this absolutely saying, okay well let's give them a, a guide to sailing so because it's you know yeah you're in the water but you're not quite the same thing so that's kind of yeah you know and so many people have asked and i've always i've all i always asked them they're like hey i'm thinking about doing the one funnel away who's got bonuses and i said that's the wrong question what you need to be finding is somebody who's going to be in the niche that you're going to operate in and then go find a mentor. I mean, yeah. bonuses don't mean crap to your success. You know, what's going to help you with your success. Somebody who can guide you through that model. That's why I tell people all the time, find somebody who's experienced at this. Yeah. Link yourself with them. Totally right. And they might have things that they can hand off to you. So absolutely. Cause obviously on a one-to-one -one basis time, you can't scale the time up, but right. I would say that's, you know, it's a good thing. So like you said, rather than saying, okay, I'm going to join one funnel away and stick it on a forum. You could say, look, I'm in the econ niche and I'm going to join one funnel away. I need something to help me along with it. Absolutely. And what can you help me with, with, with e-commerce, with print on demand, you know, things in that space Exactly. where, where, yeah. where I want to play. And it's the same thing there, isn't it? Again, because if someone's sending like, okay, I'm going to give you 15 funnels, they're right. not going to be, they're going to be so random. Maybe you'll get an e-commerce funnel. Yeah, you might do. Might not be the best one. Yeah, and the next um, one's going to be a dentist a, and then a real estate agent. Yeah. Yeah, and things that you can't use in your business. You really yeah. need to niche down and find a mentor. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's great advice. And I think that's, that's something that a lot of people are still lacking when I actually look and, and read through the Facebook groups and that a lot of people are still Absolutely. asking out the questions. Yeah. But they're not actually seeking out someone who can actually help them. So, Absolutely. Because what they're doing there is they're getting a whole bunch of people together, all in the same boat, that don't really know what they're doing just yet. And they're all answering each other's questions without really knowing. Right. Uh, and, it, and, it, well, and you get so many people that recommend somebody else just because they worked with that person or they've heard Maybe they didn't work with that person. And so one person might create FOMO around somebody else. Well, that person that they're recommending may not be the best solution for them. 
but everybody keeps, you know, Hey, you need to, you know, so-and-so or so-and-so. And I always stop those guys. I'm like, no, stop. What do you want to do? What's going to get you out of bed in the morning? Okay, great. That's your space. Go find somebody who uh, has an offer for you in that niche. Get so coached by that person. Work in your passions, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's cool. That's cool. So obviously moving on and you've done, you've done these great things with the one funnel away. And obviously now, um, do you find that you're working now more and more in an affiliate side or are you sort of like going back to product based stuff? Yeah. You know, I gotta be honest with you as much as I love the affiliate stuff, there, it's such a competitive market. Now there's so many people in there. You've got to be willing if you don't have an organic audience, you've got to be willing to spend money. So then when you start getting into paid traffic, you start dealing with so many factors. One of which is people who have been doing it in this space for a while. They can afford and they know the ways to drop ads and beat you out. You'll never get in front of somebody spending because or it'll be bluebirds because these people have been doing it for so long. They truly know what the heck they're doing. So now you're competing with big names who have been making a lot of money in this space who can do two things. They know how to find the traffic and they have the money to outspend you. Now you got to go, now you got to go compete with them. Yeah, that's it. I did hear that once actually. The person who can spend the most money to get a client is the winner. They win. You know, Russell talks about it all the time. If I can outspend you, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to win. And yeah. uh, so that's, I mean, when you look at it, there are some affiliates out there who can afford and they've got a mixture of both organic traffic and paid traffic. So to get in and so for me, I was looking at it. I was like, okay, I can continue the organic route, which I can. I get the occasional here and there. I do. I get, you know, the occasional sign up or whatever, um, you know, with some affiliate commissions. But I realized the only thing that I can, I can't control the affiliate space. But what I can control is myself and my own offers. Yeah. And if I truly want to put money in my pocket every month, the affiliate space is volatile. Um, I got to create my own offers. And that's where I've been focused the last three or four months I've been focused on creating my own products. And I mean, so I get the occasional affiliate stuff here and there, but I've, I've been really focused on my other, my own stuff. Cool. So what's, what's happening right now? What are you actually working on that? Uh, you know, people want to see, let's see what Kevin Stevens got up. His, yeah, uh, um, what's happening? Well, you know, uh, probably the core for me, the, co the, the couple of core things we're doing is uh, a software. We've got a software launch. Um, you'll be the first person to hear it other than Johnny and I, but, uh, our black Friday offer is a, a seven day, um, uh, challenge funnel, a challenge on how to launch a Chrome extension from idea through launching. You know, we're going to teach you everything you need in seven days, um, including the marketing, everything you need to create your own Chrome extension. I mean, these are two, $3,000 tools that are turning thousands and thousands of dollars in, in revenue. The little funnel or the little phone, the little extension we created, my messenger pro will probably end up doing a half a million dollars in revenue on a product that cost me 2,300 bucks. Wow. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, there's money to be made in Chrome extensions. So we're, we're building Chrome extensions right now for some two comma club winners. Uh, we just took on another client who has four Chrome extension ideas. So we're going to build those for them. We thought, well, how can we help everybody else? So that's what we're doing. We're, we're launching our seven day challenge. Starts on Friday, or we're opening it up, and then uh, um, December first, we'll kick off the challenge. We'll put everybody in it. Seven day challenge on how to launch your Chrome extension. Um, another person and I started a company where we're helping people launch just their ideas in the tech space. Our focus is LinkedIn, so we're not even playing in this space at all. Our traffic, which is really starting to grow quickly for us, is all has all been found on LinkedIn. We're helping people go from a product or an idea or no idea, but we're, we're walking them through three different phases. Phase one is patenting and trademarking your idea. Phase two is building and launching your business. And phase three is sales and getting your product and channels and, and, and uh, finding an investor if that's what need, what's needed. Yeah, so that's, cool. uh, that's called the launch incubator that launched last week. We're doing really well with that. Um, and then um, I think the other the really big thing that I'm working on right now, which you are a part of is air fryer secrets. So we have 70 authors in the book. Yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah, 70 authors in the book, all speaking about uh, something that they're an expert in, their niche. And so it's, um, you know, we're calling it the digital marketing Bible, basically. So it is from beginning to end. It's the, what's the first book of the Bible? Genesis. It's Genesis to Revelations and everything in between. 
And, uh, you know, so if there's things that you need to know or want to know about Google Analytics, SEO type stuff or Facebook ads or Instagram or building funnels or affiliate marketing or automation, whatever it is, all those, all those, uh, all those chapters are covered in the book. So Air Fryer Secrets, it'll launch December 19th ish. That's great. I mean, obviously, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting a copy myself anyway, just to see what everyone else is putting it'll, yeah, it'll be fun. Can't wait. It's, uh, it is going to be so thick of content. It's going to be one of those things where you think, I can't do it all. It's thick. It's almost twice the size of Russell Brunson's books. Wow. That's, uh, it's a thick book. We, that's we gonna, almost, that's gonna yeah, we almost had to go two volumes. A bump there when it comes through the letterbox, isn't it? That one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you're proud of you're proud of what you've done now, I guess. You, because yeah, you know. that book uh, for me is um, when 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 I was first talking with the publisher about it, she goes, "Kevin, just think if you could get 20 people to write a book with you." And I was like, "Well, let's see what we can do." And we literally, in like 24 to 48 hours, I had like 60 people sign up to be in the book. And I was just like, "Well, holy crap! Who knew?" And here we are. We had we we just had to remove a few authors to get the book down to one volume. Uh, but we have 70 authors in the book. There's a list of people that really want it in that, you know, maybe if we do a second book, they can be there. But for now, uh, you know, like I said, we've got 70 authors and the big thing for me, the thing that I'm most proudest of are two things actually is one is it's, it's not about money for me because I don't make, I don't make a dime off this book. The entire, all the profits go to a nonprofit that, uh, called operation underground railroad. They, uh, they pull kids out of the sex trafficking trade globally. So, any yes. profit from this book will go to that to that uh, uh, that foundation, and then um, the beauty of it for me that I really love is no matter what level you are at in your digital marketing space, whether you're a, an A list influencer or you're just getting started, the people that are in the book, they're going to be seen by so many eyes um, between uh, you know online followings and email lists. Uh, it looks like we're probably going to drop this on just over two million people an opportunity to to buy the book. That's great. That is be crazy. Absolutely. absolutely crazy. And that, and then after that, it's ads. We're going to do ads and drive traffic at it, you know, from whatever all around, you know, the digital marketing space. Yeah. All going well there. That could be a couple of hundred thousand sales right there. And then. Yeah, cool. absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, and the really cool thing, if it does happen, I'm, I'm hopeful because and the only reason I'm hopeful for it is if it wins a two comma club award, it gives it more exposure and we can drive more traffic and every dollar that book makes is going to a nonprofit to help save kids. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That is awesome. Yeah. That, that yeah. is one of the reasons why I wanted to get involved with it because it it, it was really about the, the exposure and stuff like that. It was just being part of something which was going to mean something to others. Bigger, yeah, something much bigger than yeah than all of us. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, if you look at it, it takes twenty five hundred dollars. They say to save a kid, pulling the kid out, getting him into a program. So twenty five hundred dollars US. I mean, if I don't know the math, but if we could, if we could make a million bucks with this book, that's saving a lot of kids. Uh, I'm not too great on math. That could be like 40,000. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah. You're probably right. Yeah. Now doing the math. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just pretty crazy. In. Just popped in there. So it could Fantastic. be. Fantastic. That's why, that's why you, uh, that's why you're an affiliate guy. You know, the numbers. I like numbers. Yeah. Numbers are cool. Yeah. So, so like a, a website where people can get this from. Uh, yeah, they can go to uh, www.airfryersecrets.com to okay. get the book. I'm gonna make the sure beauty of it is it has nothing to do with air fryers. I know. That's how I use an air fryer to create Facebook engagement. That's where it came from. And you know what the really crazy thing is? I was actually staying at my parents uh, over the last weekend before we did this recording, and uh, my mom has just got one. And she was oh my just gosh. Yeah, they're, they're so amazing. I love my air fryer. I just, I just reheated pizza in it uh, about 30 minutes before we got on this call. It, the thing is, they're amazing. I love them. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to end up getting one myself. It would just You're going to have to get an air fryer. Place the oven and, yeah. and, and everything. They're the best thing ever. You've got to get the, uh, the Emerald Lagasse version. It looks like a convection oven, but it's not. It's a hot air fryer. Best thing ever. Best thing. Oh. rotisserie you can throw a chicken or a turkey in there and let it go around that's crazy that's crazy, so crazy. i, I can already thing. see like um you know the second volume of the air fryer books going to be called like barbecue secrets or something like that <laughs> you know what's funny is i actually own the domain for it uh the next book is going to be called scooter secrets 
Of course. Yes. How to use a scooter to create Facebook engagement. Yes, of course. Another one of your great passions. <laughs> I love my I love my scooters. And that's it. And this this is something that we talked about about organic reach and stuff like that, is because I noticed more and more over time that you began posting more within the groups. And right. sometimes it like in, in your own in your own group, in your, on your own profile. And people started to gravitate to it because they'd seen it in a group. Then they see you on there because they've obviously yeah. dropped your friend request or you've requested them. Right. But they are getting into your world, if you like. Like I say, there's, there's the air fryer stuff that went on with the lives. Um, yeah. Yeah. The scooter stuff going on. It was so you, silly. You were keeping us updated on how far you'd been out on these little map yeah. runs and stuff like that. And people were yeah. engaging with it because, you know, and it was, it became for a time and i think it still is now it started acting like facebook used to be you know that's kind of like what facebook was for but what you've got is you've got a whole bunch of entrepreneurs living with you on that do you know what i mean so right yeah when the time comes and you go oh yeah i'm going to be doing this next week or that next week they're already engaged they're already part of your your following your audience or whatever you want to call it and i think that's a great thing for people which don't have the money to to start paying out for ads is to start making that uh, content. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to be a super duper star and right. give away the secrets to the, uh, the planet and the universe and everything like that. It's just something, you know, within yourself, a passion or something else that people can identify with and engage with. And of course you're already connecting with entrepreneurs, which is your target market in the first place. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, You build engagement in a way and, you know, and people remember you for that, for whatever it might be, that niche. There's so many people that probably are remembered for the one thing. That's why they get recommended for it. For a long time for me, it was air fryers and then it became scooters. And now I'm recommended for both. I get tagged on things all the time. I got tagged this morning on an air fryer question. Did you answer? Yeah, I answered. I went and said, man, that's the best thing ever. Absolutely. And I told him all about it. And he said, that's the, the Emerald Lagasse is the one he goes, that's the one we were looking at. I said, trust me, I've had three of them. That's the one. Get that one. And he's like, okay. So he ordered it for his wife. That's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Happy days. Excellent. <laughs> right. Um, Kevin, it's been awesome, man. Um, getting you on. I always have good fun when we chat. Um, now, for those people that are listening, this is normally the section where I'll ask Kevin a very specific question. And the answer is actually going to be edited out of the podcast. And there's going to be some details at the end of the podcast itself telling you how you can get access to Kevin's super duper answer, which I can imagine being unbelievable because he's such a great guy and an expert. And a whole bunch of everyone else's stuff, my entire affiliate toolkit, basically. There's going to be details at the end, so make sure you listen to that. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and knock it off now. And I'll, uh, I'll speak to you soon, Kevin. Excellent. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Paul. Hey, thanks for listening. And for getting to the end, I want to give you free access to all the tools you'll ever need to be a successful affiliate marketer. Just head over to ultimateaffiliatetoolbox.com. My name is Paul Motley, and we'll talk to you again real soon.